A $130 million project moves forward. The Roanoke County School Board takes the next steps for the new CTE building and renovation of two elementary schools. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh explains how quickly they want to get this started. A landmark for Roanoke County. That's what Superintendent Ken Nicely says about the upcoming project surrounding the brand new CTE building. For Roanoke County, an exciting place. Um, you know, to, to symbolize um, the learn, learn, learning opportunities that our students have in Roanoke County. 80 million of that 130 will go to the new CTE Center. The name of the center has yet to be revealed, but we are told it will not carry on the name of Burton. The new location will be in Roanoke County instead of Salem, where Burton currently is. And, uh, the, the, the site that came together and was a perfect spot was just right off Peters Creek Road. It has good highway access. And um, we um, were able to, to purchase the property from uh, several owners to put that together. Roanoke County Public Schools are excited for all the career pathway opportunities the new CTE building will bring. Uh, right now the plans are to bring uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, HVAC, um, collision repair, uh, dental, and uh, maybe some orthodontic uh, training is in that program. And then we're also uh, adding on to our automotive service program, some diesel technology training. So. The other 50 million will go towards the renovation of Glen Cove and W.E. Cundiff Elementary Schools. I, I walk in all of our schools uh, frequently and I'm always amazed at the wonderful work that our students and teachers do at those two elementary schools, but also marvel about just the added distractions and, and obstacles that they have um, you know, with those open classrooms to, to accomplish what they do. Roanoke County Public Schools are hoping for construction to begin as soon as summer of 2024. I'm Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.